Good morning, guys. Just let you all know, I, the reason why I was so upset yesterday was it was really traumatic to actually just watch somebody drive off with my car and have my children with me. I didn't know the area. Um, it is just a car. Everything in it is replaceable, but it massively triggered me. I remember when I got burgled and, like, three masked men came in my house and I was already a baby. It just triggered me and brought loads of memories back and... It's, I was angry as well over the fact that I've worked really hard, turned my life around, and then some dirty dogs go and nip me car because they, they think that's the easiest way to get money. Um, and it was really traumatic for my two little girls as well. They were heartbroken, absolutely heartbroken. I can't believe I ran after them. What, what was I thinking? Um, and to everybody regards the raffle, I'm absolutely, that can upset me. I'm really devastated about that. Um, I've not heard back off the police yet. I was on the phone to him constantly yesterday. Um, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I'm absolutely gutted. I really wanted to help change somebody's life. We'll see what's going to happen. Hopefully we'll get it back. Um, again, we're all absolutely fine. It is just a car. I, it was just really, really triggering to watch. And... Um, my poor children. That was such an experience for them that I never wanted him to go through. It was horrible, horrible. Um, but we're all all right. Everyone's good. Everyone's safe. I'm back home today. Um, it's life, isn't it? I've got my health. And in this day and age, after everything that's gone on with the hashtag be kind, um, I still can't believe some of the nasty comments that people go around saying... I mean, it's a reflection on them as a person, and it's just really, really sad. I'm glad I'm strong enough to handle it. And um, a massive, massive, massive thank you to everybody who has been so supportive, so kind, so nice. It's just my little girls. I mean, Heidi is absolutely traumatised. Trauma it was horrible. We literally watched... I had My key wasn't stolen. My key was in my pocket. The key hasn't been stolen. Apparently, the police said it's really common. Um, if it's a fob cat car, then they have something that they can deactivate it and start your car up. So apparently, it's happening quite a lot with 4x4s. So the papers are saying that my key got taken out of my pocket. It never... My key was in my hand. I was literally walking out of JD with DJ and Hyder. And I've looked up, my car was literally in my eye light and I saw the, the brake lights come on. And I was like, what, what's going on? And I've just got my car, I've started running after my car, but my key was in my pocket, it was in my hand. So the police are saying that it's a really common thing that people are doing at the minute, thieves are doing, um, with four by fours. They, they can destabilise a car with the thob or something. You copy your key. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But it's, it's this time of year, it's a really, really common thing to do. So no one stole my key. My key was in my pocket. Um, it, is, it is what it is. It's happened, but it was really traumatic. It was really, really tra traumatic. Um, Heidi was shaking, bless her. DJ was just more bothered about dancing in the <laughs> panto. <coughs> um, but again, thank you so much to everybody for all your support and the people who looked after us in the shop when it happened was so lovely. So but I think it was Scots that we was in. A big thank you and a shout out to them because they were so lovely and so kind. They got us washed because we was all shaking. Um, it's one of those things. What can I say? I'm just, I'm angry more than anything because I had all presents in the boot of the car. And people go, why are you putting presents in the boot of the car? Well, what do you want me to do? Walk around carrying them all. I had like over £300 worth of presents in the car. Um, it cannot be replaced. It is what it is, but thank you for everyone's support. The car has still not been found.